Suppose we want to make this torque-controlled multi-limbed agent stand up. Let's see what happens if we use vanilla reinforcement learning. If the agent has one limb, it's trivial, and with two limbs, it's pretty easy. Same thing for three limbs. But if you have more than three limbs, vanilla RL fails to scale up, because the dimensionality of the torque action space becomes too high. In contrast, we propose to treat each limb as an agent and allow them to self-assemble in a modular fashion. At the beginning of training, these limbs can't do much except roll around. Once trained, the limbs can combine using magnetic joints. The goal of this modular coevolution is to see if the learned controller generalizes better than a monolithic controller. We test this generalization ability by taking the controller trained with 6 limbs and running it with 12 limbs, or 4 limbs, or maybe some other number. With 12 limbs, the task is much harder, so it doesn't make a perfect tower, but we are able to go higher than 6 limbs without any further fine-tuning. Note that vanilla RL is not applicable here without retraining, because we have a new morphology. With four limbs, the task is easier, so it generalizes pretty much perfectly. The learn policy is also robust to random pushes and pulls. As seen on the top right, Vanilla RL doesn't really generalize as well to this setting. We now apply the same idea to the task of locomotion, where the goal is to move to the right. Again, at the beginning of training, the limbs don't move much, but once trained, they self-assemble into an agent that can move to the right. We take the same policy and run it on 12 limbs without any further fine-tuning. Our agent is able to generalize even if we change this bumpy environment to one with hurdles, and this is in contrast to the vanilla RL agent which is shown on the top right. The reason for this generalization ability is that our agents are modular, so a small agent trying to climb a bump is similar to a big agent trying to climb these stairs. Finally, since our agents are modular, they can still function if they lose a limb, or two. Thanks for watching.